Yo, what's up fellow content creators and streamers? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to turn your boring old square in OBS to a more rounded, minimalistic, clean look. So yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing you wanna do is set up the camera on how you're gonna want it and then open up the camera app like I have right now and then simply just take a picture of yourself and we're gonna use this picture in Photoshop as a reference. Now, yes, I am gonna be using Photoshop for this tutorial. It's really simple to get. All you have to do is just look it up online and you'll find it easily. All you wanna do is click on file open and then open the picture that you just took the next thing you want to do is click this plus in the bottom right to create a new layer you're going to go to this rectangle shape right next to the hand and then right click on it and click on around it rectangle for the fill shape you want to change it to white for the stroke make sure it's set to off all you want to do is hold down left click and drag out and whatever you want as the camera you just let go of the left click and then it fills like this so you should have something like this if you want to round out your corners more you can go to the right side where under properties and change this pixel size to whatever you like and as you can see these get more rounded as you go up in pixels or if you want to get them less rounded you can just simply go lower you can change your opacity down to 50 percent on the white background just to make sure that you're getting everything you want in your camera make sure to change your rounded rectangle back to 100 percent opacity what you want to do next is right click on rounded rectangle and click on rasterize layer then click on the paint bucket tool and click on these two squares and then just click anywhere around the square and it should become all black like this the next thing you want to do is click on file save as click on where it says photoshop and change this to jpeg and then save it wherever you like on your computer all these numbers are good so just click ok once you have that saved, what you want to do is click on this little history button up here and then left click on where it says rasterize layer. The next thing you want to do is double click on rounded rectangle one and then click on color overlay and then make this full black. You can remove the background aka you. Right click on rounded rectangle and click on rasterize layer style. Then go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And then this is going to be your drop shadow. So for me, I'm just going to have it around eight and then just click OK. And then to save this, just click on file, save as, go to where it says Photoshop, change this to PNG, and then save the picture wherever you like. Once you have those two things saved, the next thing you want to do is go into your OBS. The first thing you want to do is add your video capture device. So I'm just going to add my camera. Once your camera is added, all you want to do is right click on your camera and go to filters. Once you're in filters, all you need to do is add a image mask slash blend where it says path. This is where you want to go grab that JPEG of the white box with the black background and then just double click and my image is now cropped in and now I have rounded corners like so. You can click close on this now. The next thing you want to do is add a new source and click on image. You can name it whatever you'd like. Click on image file and then that PNG of just the black box, you want to open that. The next thing you want to do is right click on main camera, click on transform and then click fit to screen. You also want to do this on the PNG of the black box. So just repeat that step once again. Make sure that black box layer is underneath your camera layer. Just like so. As you can see, now I have a rounded rectangle webcam and I have some drop shadow behind me. Left click on the main camera and control left click on image and then right click and then group the selected items. You can name this group whatever you like, but for me, I'm just gonna name it as webcam. And then obviously you can scale it down or up or whatever you'd like. And then here's the final outcome. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you haven't already, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. It takes two seconds to do and I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace out.